We've got the nasty red here backed into the shop most of the way. We're gonna be doing a couple of things on this truck today regarding, actually there's gonna be a lot going on in this video today, like I mean a lot, and I'm going to be trying to get everything done that we're gonna be doing to this truck on video for one video. So some of the commentary and some of the things that we do may be, may be very brief, but be rest assured, this is the video we see everything on this truck take a complete 180. If you guys remember the videos from way back, I put the side rails on the flatbed truck here and Roger kept them on a lot of the time. So we're gonna be taking these off, however, and just kind of discarding them for now. They may stay with the truck for whoever wants them. I mean, he's had them for about a year and a half and believe it or not, they still look and operate in perfectly good condition for what they were intended for, which is just to be able to set stuff in the bed, which in my case was always deer, and then uh, keep them from sliding off the flatbed without having to strap anything down. So we're gonna be pulling those off, and then we're going to be testing this truck being converted to a dually. This five-speed dually over here, I'm gonna be pulling off the rear dually side on the driver's side, and then I'm going to be putting it on the rear of this truck. So we tried to do a little test fitment, and I don't know why it never crossed my mind, but the rear ends of the 2500s and 3500 second gens are totally different like they should be on a dually versus an SRW rear end truck. Therefore, the rear dually wheels would not fit on this truck at all, even if you did spacers or anything else like that to stance the wheel further away from the actual like rotor, the rear, uh, the rear drum of the braking system on the rear axle. It's just too close. And then if you had to add spacers and stuff, then it sticks out way too far and it would be absolutely abnormal looking and it would look like it has an extra, extra, extra long axle under the rear end of the dually. And it just, it, would, it wouldn't look very good. So that being said, it's currently staying as a single rear wheel truck. I really didn't even know if it would work for sure or not. I just thought I'd give it a try just in case, but man, I, I will be honest, this thing does look super sick just as a normal rear wheel truck. But I am very close to debating whether or not we should swap the wheels and tires or something totally new, totally fresh, or just stick with what we've got. You'll see here soon later on in the video once we kind of decide. But in the meantime, this is how it is. We got the nasty red here. Looking mean. It looks way too much like a farm truck right now. I mean, Unfortunately, that paint job in the last 15 months, when the winter had it, the sun just, I mean, it just tore it to pieces, which is not fault of the winter. It's really just fault of poor paint quality and poor clear coat quality. It just didn't hold up. I mean, these trucks should be able to sit outside all the time and it should take years before the clear coat starts to fade and peel off like that. I mean, it shouldn't happen in a year and a half of sitting out, at least not in Ohio. Our sun's not that blistering hot year round. It's it's only for a few months and then it's pretty pretty relaxed most of the time. So we're gonna hop on the road here. We're gonna go with a completely new paint color on this truck. It's not gonna look the same. Now it's gonna look relatively the same, but it's not gonna look the exact same. You'll see the reveal in the rest of this video. We're gonna get on the road now. It'll be about a week and then we're gonna pick the camera back up but for you guys, it'll be a few minutes. We're gonna pick the camera back up and reveal to you guys the paint code that we decided to go with on this truck. Guys, Nasty Red is back and more beautiful than ever. We got a beautiful, fully custom Delmonico Red paint code on this truck. It's actually a paint code off of a 2023 Ram or a 2022 Ram. 
I mean, this thing looks freaking beautiful. Of course, we just drove it three hours, so we got to clean up some bugs and stuff of this thing. Sparkles and shines. Ty, how much better is it than the old one? Dude, so much better. Dude, this thing is, it's gorgeous. Like, there was a dent here in the fender, totally gone. The doors didn't close right. They were a little bit saggy. He put shims in, the doors closed flawlessly. Everything's just better. The bodywork, I mean, it, it's just beautiful, shiny. Better than it was. Oh, so much better. So we got the new paint done, new mirrors going on, new KG1 forged 22 by 12s in 33 by 1250s. And what else? Is going to be bad. And what else? In a fully custom in-debt fabrication exhaust. This project's been in the works for a couple of weeks now behind the scenes and all these people pulling together on this thing. It's amazing. I'm so freaking stoked to bring this to you guys and hopefully he does not turn on the tractor and <laughs> smash all the new wheels. Anyways, guys, uh, let's get rolling. We're going to knock this thing out, get everything put on, enjoy the time lapse and the random clips. This thing's going to be beautiful. What is going on guys? Here it is in all of its flipping glory. Nasty Red 2.0. And this thing turned out absolutely wicked. Here she is, the 1996 compound turbo farm truck we call Nasty Red, the 12 valve Cummins. Guys, this thing turned out so sick and uh, we even got bugs plastered all over it now. We just took a ton of rollers. This thing was literally perfect. Just took a ton of rollers and I got plastered with bugs. Okay, we're back. I had to wipe all the bugs off the front end of this thing because it was 
it was driving me crazy. I'm like, this is not doing this truck proper justice because so much time and effort and so much money went into this thing. I think we're at a grand total of almost $60,000 into this truck now since the first time it was originally picked up. And I remember that day we picked this truck up. It was 5,500 bucks. And I remember me and my dad having the conversation about it would be nice to have a nice, just a cheap, reliable farm truck that we can just like put a cheap flatbed on. We thought it was going to be like two grand. It ended up being like six for installation and the bed. And then we're thinking, oh, we'll just do some cheap rocker and paint repair, like 2000 bucks. Nope, it was like 4,500 bucks. And then we had to redo it again anyways, which is another 6,000 plus dollars, but turned out beautiful, well worth the investment to have this thing look exactly the way we wanted it to for this reveal. The wheels and tires, this is a KG1 Forge setup, not a cheap set of wheels. Turned out super sick. Again, just perfect. Just the attention to detail that went into it this time around, uh, this is pretty much the way that this truck should have been finished last time, but we had already been in so deep at the time that it was like, there was just no way we were gonna get the money back out of the truck, which yes, we do run a business here. So we do have to get the funds back out of the builds. Otherwise we cannot continue to do them. But this time around, I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna bite the bullet and we're gonna go all in and make this thing absolutely sick. So we're gonna go over this thing and give you a few of the small details on this truck that are, well, not small details, but big details that are completely different about this thing. First off, the first thing you're gonna notice is the paint on the truck. This is Delmonico Red off of a 2022 2023 Ram heavy duty pickup. This is not the original maroon color. However, if you look inside the doors, the paint on the inside of the door is not that much different. He did not paint the insides of the doors. I asked him not to because just to do the <laughs> just to do the rest of the truck was already going to cost me uh, way more than I was originally anticipating but well worth it because the guy pulled off a freaking miracle. He painted this entire truck. He had, it str he had to strip off all the old paint because he said it was horrible quality and needed to be pulled off. Pulled off all the old paint, reprimed the whole truck, painted the whole truck, cleared the whole truck. I mean, he redid the whole thing. He had to redo the rockers just because when they were originally done, yes, it had rockers replaced at one point. When they were originally replaced, he said they were not done properly. So he had to reinstall them and properly do them. And just, he did all everything that I wanted done. And there was even like, an, a, like a dent in this fender. I don't know if you guys remember, there was a dent in this fender and it always was just such an eyesore because, you know, I wanted that dent gone, you know, the first time I had it all redone and he redid it and it looks perfect. You can actually see the body line, very clean. Uh, and he realigned the doors. So I don't know if you guys remember, uh, the door on this side, especially, it didn't close right. It like, it would like drop off the latch and it's still not perfect because it's not an OEM door. It's an aftermarket door, like a replacement door. And you know, they just, it's just not the same as OEM, but he got that thing dang near perfect where it just slings out nice and easy and just closes perfectly. Just about couldn't be happier with that. And then the grill was black. It was a black paintable grill that we never got painted, had him paint match that. And I was so torn on the front bumper, but I said, you know what? I've got an idea leave the bumper black and chrome and we're going to go with the black and chrome mirror setup on this thing which by the way looks super sick that's not a crack that's a reflection of the antenna black and chrome with the amber lights in the corner uh looks looks really sweet turned out really well these are the original headlights that i actually made myself for the truck the 12 valve cummins badges on the inside there 22 by 12 kg1 forged wheels sitting on some 33 by 1250 Otro Trailblade MTs. Never gone with a KG1 forged wheel setup before, but this this truck, I mean, this time around, I said, you know, like we've just got to do it. We've just got to do it over and we've got to do it to an extent we're just extremely, extremely proud of it. in debt fabrication, four to eight inch tip. We already got it covered in rock dust and stuff. I feel so bad. We did get some good pictures though before we got it covered in soot and dirt uh but in-depth fabrication on instagram or facebook here's his instagram handle right here in-depth fabrication if you guys want custom exhaust tips 
Like I said, we got this thing filthy already from all the rocks on the gravel roads. He does phenomenal work. His welding, his attention to detail, his powder coating that he has done on them. I mean, they are like the best. So if you want heavy duty, heavy construction, exhaust tips, I don't know if he only does diesel. He might do whatever you want, um, but he's he's the best. Instagram, in-depth fabrication, definitely check him out. And then in terms of the flatbed, we had to go ahead and we removed some of the stickers on this truck. Anthem, we love you. But since we had pulled the Anthems off this truck, we did pull off the Anthem sticker. And then we thought, well, shoot, now that we pulled off the Anthem sticker, we just we should just pull them all off. And we only left on the flatbed stickers that were like really on there. Like we tried to get under the corners of those and they were like a totally different type of material. I mean, they're like, they were really, really on there. We did pull off the big Anthem sticker up the side and we also pulled off the red Team Loud and Proud decal that was in the front corner just because we don't even sell those anymore. And honestly, if I were to put another one on, I would probably go with something that's either chrome to match the polished wheels, mirrors, and bumper, or I would just go with something that's like black or Delmonica red, just something that kind of matches the truck a little bit in some form, uh, just because honestly, I didn't want anything about this truck to turn out to be like cheesy or just unclean. I just wanted to have it be, yes, farm truck, so there's still plow mounts, flatbed, all that stuff. I want it to be farm truck, nasty red, the farm truck, but I want it to be like super refined and just like bad to the bone. Like when you see this thing, you're like, that ain't your everyday farm truck. There's something special about that thing. And of course you guys know it's got the pusher compound turbos in there, the big injectors and all the work we did under the hood to this thing back in like 2017, 2018. I mean, we did so much to this truck and it still runs perfectly like the day that we finished everything on that under the hood. And it it's just, it's mind blowing how this thing looks now. And for the most part, I have been hiding this entire project for over two weeks now. I was actually down on vacation almost almost a month ago now and I got a, and that's when I got the call from Roger and as soon as he called me I remember thinking I'm like I wasn't done with that truck like that's that's one of those trucks that I wanted to buy it back to finish it I wanted to buy it back to to if I was gonna do it again I just wanted to have in the back of my mind like I finished that truck like it at some point maybe it wasn't the original time we owned it but at some point I was able to get that thing back and finish it and send it off as a complete package, finally done, the way that I wanted to see it finished, and I think we finally got that done. And I don't know about you, but this to me is one heck of a duo. We've got Nasty Red, the 12 valve Cummins farm truck. We've got a beautiful 12 valve five-speed manual four-wheel drive truck with only 99,000 miles on it in a dually, which is also a freaking stud farm truck. Which one, which one, which one takes the cake? Compound turbo, 12 valve Cummins, five speed, four wheel drive, dually 12 valve. They're both four wheel drive, but you know, this one has different highlighted features that make it more important to itself versus this truck has just totally different features that are like, just stand out as it being cool. I mean, there's just so much about this truck that I just absolutely love. So to wrap this up, guys, yes, right now you can get entered for both of these trucks. Each truck comes with $5,000 in cash, 1997 12 valve five speed dually four wheel drive truck, totally rust free, 99,000 miles on it. And the nasty red, the one and only, the nasty red 2.0, better than ever. Also comes with $5,000 cash, compound turbos, fully built transmission for performance and towing, the new chrome mirrors. Actually, I don't even know if I mentioned that. No, I did. Chrome mirrors with the ambers, new KG1 forged wheels, just a completely refined model of nasty red that you all know and love. And I know some people are torn about the two-tone. I already see some of the comments. It's so iconic. It was like what made that truck, you know, stand out as like that old two-tone theme. But guys, I could not resist painting this thing fully Delmonico red. I just had to do it. I had it like in my vision for the thing and I just had to go with it. It's one of those things where if I wouldn't have done it, I would have been like, man, I wish I would have done that to find out for sure what it would have turned out like. And uh, I, I honestly cannot say 
I'm disappointed at all. This thing, this thing just looks awesome. So like I said, guys, if you want to get entered to win these things, lmpgear.com, head on over to the site. We just dropped, hopefully by the time you see this, we just dropped an entirely new site. Yes, a lot of the great products and features that you guys still loved on the previous website, but we wanted to, just like Nasty Red, we wanted to take a step back with it, completely refine it, the navigation, the way to find products, the clean display and look of everything. We wanted to try to refine it as much as we could to make it a much better user experience for you guys and to make it so much more simple to find what you're looking for, get stuff you like, and be able to check out with ease. The whole thing has just been completely refined. So that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Been one heck of a journey with this truck and I am so excited to see where this thing goes. Thanks so much guys. Dual entries for these trucks. Yes, dual entries live until Sunday, May 21st, which means every $1 you spend is gonna get you 30 entries towards this truck and it's gonna get you 30 times entries towards this truck. That's right, not one or the other. It's not split your entries between the two. It's essentially like 60 times entries because you're getting whatever amount of entries you put in for an order, those are getting put into that drawing and this drawing at the exact same time. Two for one, you're getting entered to two giveaways at the same time. You're doubling your chances, literally doubling your odds of getting entered. You're doubling your odds of winning a truck right now because you're getting entered for both giveaways at the same time. These are two separate drawings. We could either have two separate winners or somebody could get lucky enough to get drawn for both. There's no better time. LNPgear.com guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.